You are an American Prometheus, the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves, and they'll respect that. Why did you leave the United States? I wanted to study the new physics. First, I had to go to Europe. I went to Cambridge to study under Patrick Blackett. Were you happier there than in America? Happier? No. No, I, uh, I was homesick, um, emotionally immature, troubled by visions of a hidden universe. Amateurs seek the sun, get eaten. Power stays in the shadows. This is a national emergency. I've got some skeletons, they put me in charge. You're talking about turning theory into a practical weapon system faster than the Nazis. And it comes together here. A secret laboratory in the middle of nowhere, secure, self-sufficient. Equipment, housing, the works. Keep everyone there until it's done. If we don't let scientists bring their families, we'll never get the best. If you want security, build a town, build it fast. Let's go recruit some scientists. You know isotopes, and you know explosives better than anyone in the world. Now we understand each other. Perhaps you can get me my security clearance so I can perform this miracle for you. You're the great improviser, but this you can't do in your head. It's about unleashing the strong force before the Nazis do. You drop a bomb that falls on the just and the unjust. I don't wish the culmination of three centuries of physics to be a weapon of mass destruction. When we detonate an atomic device, we might start a chain reaction that destroys the world. So here we are, hmm? lost in your quantum world of probabilities. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. The Nazis can't. Just because we're building it, doesn't mean we get to decide how it's used. He said he would judge us on that. But we see there's a chance that when we push that button, these things are hard in your heart. We destroy the world. And if the truth is catastrophic, the atomic bomb will be a terrible revelation of divine power. We imagine a future, and our imaginings horrify us. Bye. They won't fear it until they understand it. And they won't understand it until they've used it. When the world learns the terrible secret of Los Alamos, War. our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. It's happening, isn't it? Three, two, one. And now I am become death. The destroyer of worlds. After the war, Dr. Oppenheimer was the most respected scientific voice in the world. It is the harnessing of the basic power of the universe. Your invention uh, let us bring our boys home. Well, it was hardly my invention. It's too soon to, it's too soon to determine what the results of the bombing are. Lewis, do you understand? If we build a hydrogen bomb, the Russians will have no choice but to build their own. Could they be working on one already? And if the Russians know about it already from a spy at Los Alamos? No proof there was a spy at Los Alamos. Oh dear, you haven't heard. Klaus Hoops, the British scientist that you put onto the implosion team at Los Alamos, turns out he was spying the Soviets the whole time. I'm sorry. After the truth about Fuchs came out, the FBI stepped up surveillance on him, but never stopped speaking his mind. Man of conviction. And maybe he thought fame could actually protect him. We need a systematic destruction of Oppenheimer's credibility so he can never again speak on matters of national security. We, we freely used the atomic bomb. In fact, Dr. Yu assisted in selecting the target to drop the atomic bomb on Japan, didn't he? Well, then you knew, did you not, that by dropping that atomic bomb on the target, you selected the thousands of civilians. I did my job. I was not in a policy-making position at Los Alamos. I would have done anything I was asked to do. Well, then you would have built the H-bomb, too, wouldn't you? I could. I didn't ask you that, Doctor! And the DAC report that you co authored after the Soviet atomic just said a super bomb should never be built! And now I am the commander. 
destroyer of worlds. The power you're about to reveal will forever outlive the Nazis, and the world is not prepared. You could lift the stone without being ready for the snake that's revealed. You don't get to commit the sin, and then I was all feel sorry for you that it had consequences. Mr. President. Climbed out of the ruins of their homes, only slightly injured. You think any mark in Hiroshima or Nagasaki gives a shit who built the bomb? They care who dropped it. I did. Hiroshima isn't about you. Uh, Dr. Oppenheimer. Don't let that crybaby back in here. You will look back on your work here with pride. But today that pride must be tempered with a profound concern. If atomic weapons are to be added to the arsenals of a warring world, then the day will come when people will curse the name of Los Alamos. We have to make the politicians understand this isn't a new weapon. It's a new world. You are an American Prometheus, the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And they'll respect that, and your work really begins. Is anyone oh. ever going to tell the truth about what's happening here? Did you think that if you let them tar and feather you, then the world would forgive you? They need us, until they don't. Don't alienate the only people in the world that understand what you do. One day you might need them. Albert. Ah. Uh, the man of the moment. I left my country never to return. You served your country well. If this is the reward she offers you, then perhaps you should turn your back on her. Damn it, I happen to love this country. Now it's your turn to deal with the consequences of your achievement. And one day, when they've punished you enough, they'll serve you salmon and potato salad. Make speeches. If you are mad, I'll put you on the back, tell you all is forgiven. Just remember, it won't be for you. It will be for them. Help me. When I came to you with those calculations, we thought we might start a chain reaction that would destroy the entire world. I remember that well. What happened? I believe we did. I remember the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu was trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on its multi-armed form and says, And then when I am become death, destroyer of worlds, nuclear war, perhaps all war, becomes unthinkable. Until somebody gives us a bigger one.